Angola, one out of every five children die before their fifth birthday. Many of these deaths are preventable. Severe acute malnutrition and birth-related complications are two of the leading causes of under five deaths. Currently, Angola is facing the worst drought recorded in over 40 years. Because most families rely on farming as their main food source, the drought is causing malnutrition cases to skyrocket. When mothers do not have adequate nutrition, their bodies aren't able to produce enough milk to sustain their babies, and these little ones quickly become severely malnourished. For women and newborns in labor, the situation is just as severe. Quality healthcare and basic medical equipment can be next to impossible to find, and common birth complications, like giving birth prematurely, can be the difference between life and death. To meet these challenging circumstances, Saving Moses is expanding and adapting our programs in Angola to save more of these vulnerable babies and toddlers every day. Hey there, thank you so much for your time. I love getting to hang out with you, and I appreciate, very much appreciate, the opportunity to connect. And you know, I'm coming to you uh, on behalf of Saving Moses. And Saving Moses is something so very, very vital to my heart. This is a, a, my humanitarian organization, an extension of God's heart and love for babies and toddlers. And Saving Moses, we've done Saving Moses for more than 10 years. And what we do with Saving Moses is we look after babies and toddlers in areas of the world that are completely devoid of help, assistance, support, even, even any kind of food. So we do malnutrition formula. We do something called night care, where we look after babies and toddlers whose moms work in the sex industry. And we do birth aid. Birth aid is where we provide birth support and training in very rural, remote areas, as well as high conflict areas all over the world. So thank you so much for watching and, and, and listening and, and hearing my heart. And recently I returned from a trip to Angola. And this is a very important country for me because this was the very first place that I ever experienced a baby dying. And it was one thing, you know, it's one thing to see a picture of a baby that's malnourished, severe, acute malnourished. It's one thing to see a picture from a distance or think, you know, that's far away in a different continent. But it's an entirely different experience to sit there and hold that baby. It's an entirely different experience to hear a baby on the cusp of dying and hear the death rattle. Like, what is that? It's labored breathing, and it's the, it's, and it's the end of their life. And when you are there and you're in that moment, there's nothing like it. I mean, it is absolutely, it has changed my life. And so when I go to Angola, it's, it's an interesting country for me. It's kind of a love-hate. <laughs> I've been going there more than 10 years. And when I go, it always is very um, moving to me. It causes me to have tremendous passion and feelings and emotions because of seeing these babies and toddlers. And so I know some of my friends have said to me, Sarah, you know, do you always have to feel everything? You have to let yourself feel. And I, I believe I do. I do believe that because I believe that's what Jesus feels. I believe that Jesus senses the need, the passion, the desire for that baby to survive, to live, to thrive. And this time when I went to Angola, it was encouraging because I saw some things that, improvements that we've made, but I also at the same time saw a baby, actually he was a toddler, Desongo. Um, and Desongo, I'm, I walked in the clinic and this is a clinic I've been to innumerable times. And whenever I go in there, I always have to like, here we go. Um, and sure enough, I walked in and, and I see Desongo. And Desongo is, he's blind and, and severe, severely acutely malnourished. Um, and I, having been in this environment, I can recognize, you know, hey, this is a severe case. And, and uh, when I saw him, I was like, oof. And he had been there. I asked, how long has he been here? This is his second day. And I know that if we don't make some interventions early, in the process or, or before we get to this very, very severe state, then it's really touch and go. And one of the things we've been doing to help with saving Moses and, and our malnutrition efforts is screening. We've been doing some pre-screening and that's been very helpful.
So I'm asking you to help me today, hop on the phone, get on the website, so that we can save babies and toddlers small amounts of, of money. We, you know, if you could do $38 a month, that's great. If you can only give $10, but the screening things that we do are little tiny investments, a little bit of malnutrition for me, a little bit of food, and it makes a massive world of difference for a baby and a toddler to survive and have the opportunity to live. Watch this now. Llegué más aquí, siempre cuando ves a Maggi, un neto de mi hijo. Por eso que yo llegué al hospital. Un mi neto tenía diarrea y con su raza. De ahí comenzó a disfermar el cuerpo. Quando cheguei aqui, agradeci no meu, no meu neto, veja que está tomando. Está lindado já, saúde. Depois da manhã, se o meu neto foi ficar também com juízo, como que eu estou acompanhando, ele também, depois da manhã, vai me ajudar. Só isso, meus filhos. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, to give you a future and a hope. Babies and toddlers in Angola are starving. Their futures are hanging by a thread. You can step in and bring hope. Help us screen for malnutrition early on before it becomes severe. Help us provide therapeutic milk, specially made to bring babies and toddlers back from the brink of starvation. You can give these precious little ones what God wants for everyone, a future. Just $38 provides enough therapeutic milk for one baby or toddler for an entire month. How many lives will you save today? Donate now by calling 800-627-1995. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to encourage you in this moment at this time that you and I can give the gift of life. I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website even now and give any amount that you can. For some of you, you can give a huge amount of money. Some of you, you can give $5, but no matter what size of finances you can help us with, you are giving the gift of life. So hop on the phone, get on the website now and let's be generous. Now, some of you, we'd invite you to become a hero. A hero is a $38 a month, and that is continuous, and it gives, it gives an ongoing gift of life. But no matter what, no matter what you can do, anything is valuable, is essential to our babies and toddlers. And this gift of life happens not only through malnutrition, but also night care and birth aid. Please be generous now. Hop on the phone, get on the website. Let's give the gift of life even today. Thank you so much for watching. I know when you see the stories like this and you hear of, of, the, of what's happening in real time with a, a, with a real baby is very moving and very compelling. And one of the things that we do with Saving Moses is we provide malnutrition formula. And you think, well, what's, what's the big deal about that? And here's the big deal. When I was at this clinic and I saw the little guy that I referenced in the first segment here is Desongo. There's a nurse, a volunteer nurse that has moved to Angola for a couple months. She's from Italy. Her name happens to be Sarah. <laughs> and she found me when I was at the clinic and she said, hey, I found out that you're the person responsible for this malnutrition formula, that we have this supply of formula specifically for malnutrition because of your efforts. And I said, it's true. And she said, I can't thank you enough because all of our medical efforts and, and all of the things that we can do are meaningless 
if we don't have the basic essential of malnutrition formula. And you're like, well, what's the big deal about that? You know, hop over to the store and buy some formula. But this particular formula is, is designed for babies and toddlers who are in a very, very, really horrible condition. They're severely, acutely malnourished. And without this specific kind of formula, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen us try to go to the store and the market and get regular formula and it doesn't work. It doesn't work for these babies and toddlers because their bodies are so emaciated in such bad condition. And so just a little tiny gift, if you could hop on the phone, get on the website now and, and, and help us. Any size, a gift of any size is meaningful. And it's Sarah saying, thank you so much. Sarah, the nurse in, in, in Angola saying, thank you so much for providing the malnutrition formula, that it is so steady. And we have been providing malnutrition formula in Angola for more than 10 years. And because of that, I have seen again and again and again, babies and toddlers, they'll come into our clinics. We have seven malnutrition clinics in Angola and they come in and they can be in really bad, in a bad shape, really, really destitute. And we see because of the malnutrition formula, if we get to them soon enough, if they come to the clinic soon enough, there's a really good chance that they can survive and improve and really even thrive. And I saw this, I saw the evidence of this with a little dude whose name is Belito. I really like Belito because I met him the first time when I came to Angola. And he was just coming through a very difficult time. I mean, he was about four or six months old. He had been severely, acutely malnourished. And because of some malnutrition formula and some efforts of, of the clinic and the nurses and stuff, he survived and I, he was walking home. We talked with his mom. We went and helped her get some food and some formula and got her set up. Marcelo is from is his mom's name. And Belito now, every time I go back to Angola, is one of the coolest things I get to experience because I saw him in that severe, really just basically surviving. And I now over the course of 12 years have seen him thrive and flourish and do well. And this last time I saw him, he's out playing soccer. He's vibrant. He's athletic. He's energetic. He's enjoying life. But his life literally was hanging by a thread as a little tiny four, six month old boy. And because of malnutrition formula, he is alive and thriving today. So I just want to thank you for helping me and, and giving the gift of life. Whatever you could give at this moment in this time is meaningful and helpful to our babies and toddlers to have the opportunity to survive and potentially thrive. Dei conta que tenho que vir aqui no hospital da Catumbela, em centro de nutrição. No princípio, começou com febres e algum, algumas infecções na boca e vômitos. As febres não paravam, eram constantes. Vômito também era constante. Quando dou água, comida, meu bebê rejeita. Comparando, digo que está normal, porque os braços estavam assim, estavam colados e os olhos estavam mais para cima. Agora ele já consegue mexer o pescoço, já consegue movimentar um bocado o braço dele. Eu sempre espero uma melhoria para o meu filho. Não é só cá no centro de nutrição, não. Eu quero ver ele sentar, quero ver ele andar. Muita coisa. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, to give you a future and a hope. Babies and toddlers in Angola are starving. Their futures are hanging by a thread. You can step in and bring hope. Help us screen for malnutrition early on before it becomes severe.
help us provide therapeutic milk, specially made to bring babies and toddlers back from the brink of starvation. You can give these precious little ones what God wants for everyone, a future. Just $38 provides enough therapeutic milk for one baby or toddler for an entire month. How many lives will you save today? Donate now by calling 800-627-1995. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to encourage you in this moment at this time that you and I can give the gift of life. I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website even now and give any amount that you can. For some of you, you can give a huge amount of money. Some of you, you can give $5, but no matter what size of finances you can help us with, you are giving the gift of life. So hop on the phone, get on the website now and let's be generous. Now, some of you, we'd invite you to become a hero. A hero is a $38 a month, and that is continuous, and it gives the gift, an ongoing gift of life. But no matter what, no matter what you can do, anything is valuable, is essential to our babies and toddlers. And this gift of life happens not only through malnutrition, but also night care and birth aid. Please be generous now. Hop on the phone, get on the website. Let's give the gift of life even today. I thank you again and again for watching and listening. I wanna encourage you with some amazing things that are happening. So we started providing malnutrition formula in Angola for really more than 10 years ago. And from that, that's kind of, I put the flag in the land and said, this is what we're gonna do. But it's really, really encouraging to see from that one decision and then some adjustments and tweaks, little things subsequent to that and being steady with malnutrition formula, we are really seeing some improvement and some encouraging things. So here's what I mean by that. One of the things that we decided to do after and we continue to provide malnutrition formula, we decided to feed the moms. You're like, why is that a big deal? <laughs> well, the moms who come to these clinics, they don't have food and the clinics don't provide the food because there's not enough money. So what was happening is these babies and toddlers, they would be getting better, but the moms would run out of food and take their baby home before the, the, ther the therapy had been completed. So a withdrawal, a premature withdrawal, and then the little baby kind of declines again. So, so we decided to feed the moms. And I'd ask you to help me do that today. Help me hop on the phone, get on the website, help me feed these moms so that they don't leave early and take their babies home before their babies have completely recovered. We've been doing that and we wanna to continue to do it. Another thing that we're doing as well is providing screening. We've just recently implemented screening so moms can bring their babies, toddlers to clinics in some of these really remote areas when they're concerned ahead of time so that they, we don't wait till the very last minute and do an intervention potentially, and it's kind of a 50-50 if the baby makes it or not, to Sango. If he could have come to our clinic sooner than two days, there's a good chance he could have survived, but because he wasn't able, to, and, and screening, screening puts in place in those rural remote areas and lets the moms bring their baby toddler to be screened to be checked for their weight, their height, and as well the, the little armband that says this baby's in a good place, a moderate place, or severe acute. And when we can do that ahead of time, then we can give interventions, smaller interventions, instead of like at this crisis emergency time. So the screening prevents, it's a prevention for the severe acute decline, and then the really touch and go, really difficult thing, plus the fact the screening also addresses that baby's continuous development and maturation. So babies and toddlers are growing all the time, their brains are growing, and if there's a, a gap in the resource, there's nutrition for them, then they can't continue to grow and flourish and, and mature normal. So if you have those gaps, then it creates ripples down the, down the road later in their, in their development and their maturation. So you think, well, how come this kid isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer? Well, sometimes those kids have missed some essential nutrition in their childhood, in their infancy, and we get to participate and help with that ahead of time. So I'd ask you to hop on the phone, get on the website and say, yeah, I wanna help. I wanna help with some finances to help with the screening. I wanna help with some finances so those moms have some food to, so that they can stay in the clinics. And, and I wanted to encourage you that not only are we doing screening and not only are we feeding the moms, we also have now birth aid. 
And birth aid is where we can go very much into the clinic. So rural, rural, far away. And we provide birth support. That means we give training and basic essential resources to sometimes midwives or community leaders and teach them how to have a safe, healthy delivery in their village, in their community, or these areas called Kimbos. And so I just want to thank you so much for participating with me, expressing genuine love and giving the gift of life for babies and toddlers all over the world. A vida do menino está tá muito, tá, tá muito magro, ele está ficando muito magro. Não estou a entender, mas ele não faz febre, só está ficando mesmo magro. E ele chorava muito. Está nos ajudar muito, do jeito que o Gabriel estava, não é do jeito que está agora. Do jeito que ele estava, não, não conseguia, eu, mãe que não, não conseguia reconhecer meu filho. Só estava mesmo com medo, que depois vou perder essa criança, mãe. Me disseram que a Ana não pode ir para casa porque estou bebê, vai ficar muito tempo aqui, estou bebê, não está bom. Estou bebê, não está bom, porque estou bebê, está desnutrido. Ele, como vi com ele para cá, não conseguia mesmo concentrar se a pessoa. Você ele faz mesmo assim, só ficamos só assim, os olhos já virou, mas como cheguei mesmo aqui, nas mãos mesmo dos doutores. Muito obrigada. Pedi graças a Deus. Meu filho está mesmo bem para recuperar. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, to give you a future and a hope. Babies and toddlers in Angola are starving. Their futures are hanging by a thread. You can step in and bring hope. Help us screen for malnutrition early on before it becomes severe. Help us provide therapeutic milk, specially made to bring babies and toddlers back from the brink of starvation. You can give these precious little ones what God wants for everyone, a future. Just $38 provides enough therapeutic milk for one baby or toddler for an entire month. How many lives will you save today? Donate now by calling 800-627-1995. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to encourage you in this moment at this time that you and I can give the gift of life. I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website even now and give any amount that you can. For some of you, you can give a huge amount of money. Some of you, you can give $5, but no matter what size of finances you can help us with, you are giving the gift of life. So hop on the phone, get on the website now and let's be generous. Now, some of you, we'd invite you to become a hero. A hero is a $38 a month, and that is continuous, and it gives, it gives an ongoing gift of life. But no matter what, no matter what you can do, anything is valuable, is essential to our babies and toddlers. And this gift of life happens not only through malnutrition, but also night care and birth aid. Please be generous now. Hop on the phone, get on the website. Let's give the gift of life even today. Again, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate your interest and I appreciate your compassion that we can express and, and promote God's love in very meaningful ways with the gift of life for babies and toddlers. And you know, as I think about the, my time that I've spent, various years that I've been to Angola, even my recent trip, I saw a little dude named Antonio. And over the course of more than 10 years, I've seen babies, toddlers in various conditions. I've seen, I've seen ones that have been struggling. I, my first little baby, Angelina, um, she actually, she died. Even though we gave blood, uh, tried to help her, we got there too late and there wasn't enough resources. And when I think about these babies and toddlers, I think about Antonio. Antonio, who I just saw, and, and 
I talked with his mom. You try to talk to the moms and sometimes the moms, you know, they just, they're quiet and they're not very, they're not very communicative. And when I think about it, that makes complete sense. <laughs> Their baby is in such a severe, severe state of malnourishment and, and the possibility of survival is so threadbare thin that those moms, I mean, they're giving everything they know to do to keep that baby alive. And I watched this mom look after her little boy, Antonio. Antonio is about 16 months old. Um, so, so difficult. So difficult to see a baby struggling. And one of the things that really gets to me, I think more than anything, is when you visit a malnutrition clinic and you hear an, an area of it is, is quiet. I like to hear the noise. I like when a baby's crying. That's fantastic. <laughs> when they're whining and grumpy and, you know, you know, whatever there's, I like that because that means there's energy and there's life in them to call out and, and ask for help. But when it's quiet, then that says there's not enough strength in that baby toddler to ask for help. And so I'm asking on their behalf today that you would help that you would help. They may not have the strength and the energy and the voice to ask you for help, but I'm asking on their behalf that you can help, help give the gift of life, that you would hop on the phone, get on the website today. Whatever gift you could give would be invaluable, would answer that silent cry, would answer that desperate need, would help that mom to know that there's some resources here. We've got food for your baby. We've got food for you. We've got preventative help. We've got birth aid help that goes into the rural remote clinics, areas of, that don't have health care as readily available, that you would help us. Thank you so much for being generous, giving the gift of life. I love what we do with Saving Moses. It talks about it in the New Testament. True religion is to help babies, orphans, widows, and to express genuine love and to give the gift of life. So thank you. Thank you for your compassion. And what I have found is this. When I, when I am compassionate, I always sense God being compassionate, increasing that not only through me, but also for me. And so sometimes when we feel like we're not experiencing God's love, it's an opportunity for us to step in and give the gift of love and also experience God loving not only through us, but also to us. So I'd ask you to hop on the phone today. I'd ask you to get on the website and be generous. Whatever you can do today in this moment is the gift of life. It is the gift of love. It is hope for a future and a better tomorrow than what we have even today. Mm -hmm.